big plans are in place for the biggest highway construction project in Boston since the big dig. This will impact how drivers get in and out of the city for years. As Katie Brace tells us tonight, the project will reconfigure the Mass Pike and Soldiers Field Road here in Austin. People we spoke with like the concept, but not the probable headaches. Traffic bottles up in this curvy stretch of the Mass Pike, sitting high next to Boston University dorm windows. But it could soon be in drivers' rearview mirrors. Traffic in uh, New England's been kind of really crazy, so anything that will help traffic, I think, will be great. The State Department of Transportation plans to remove the elevated section of the Mass Pike. The road would be built on the ground and straightened out by running through the nearby railroad yard. I think this is a very good idea. The state says the project will cost between $1.1 and $1.2 billion. It's expected to take eight years to complete. It would affect at least the 150,000 vehicles that travel this stretch every day. I think we learned a lot at the Big Dig. You know, I think probably the state engineers and, and they have, would approach this differently, maybe take some of the lessons learned from that project. There's more. Part of Soldiers Field Road would be elevated over the Mass Pike to create more green space and bike lanes by the Charles River. It would look something like this, though MassDOT stresses this is not a final nor accurate rendering. Overall, the greener the better, so also the construction is kind of concerning. MassDOT acknowledges travelers will be impacted and stresses the plan is about looking long term. Those who regularly drive the pike are not ready to hit the gas. That's a lot of money and, and a lot of time. When asked how the project would be paid for, a Mass DOT spokesperson said funding sources are not yet available. Construction is still a little ways off. They hope to have a contractor in place by the end of 2020. Reporting along the pike, Katie Brace, WBZ News.